What is HTML? HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language was developed by Tim Berners-Lee in 1990. It forms the basic building blocks for web pages. HTML is not a programming language but a markup language. It uses markup tags to describe web pages. Document tags. The first HTML tags you are going to look are the document tags. There are the tags that are required for every HTML page you create. The HTML documents has two distinct parts, a head and a body. The head of the HTML document is where you enter the title of the page. For example, various scripting codes can also be written here. Within less than script greater than. This tells a web browser what information should be considered to be in the head portion of the document and what it should call the document in the title bar of the browser window. Now save this file with file Save as command in the text editor. Extension of the file should be .htm or .html. Understanding Tags The first thing you should notice about these HTML tags is that all tags include less than and greater than symbols on either side of the tags command. This is how HTML recognizes tags. There are three types of tags. Container tags. In HTML, tags that include both start and end tag are called container tags. These tags wrap around the text in your document and provide a block to the text. These hold in or contain the text in between the two tags, for example, less than, title, greater than, HTML lesson, less than, slash title, greater than empty tags all other tags in html fall into one other category called empty tags these tags have only a start tag there are no end tags the reason is that empty tags do not act on blocks of text for example less than hr greater than horizontal rule tag it draws a line across the width of your document Comment tags. Comment lines are indicated by the special beginning tag less than exclamation mark dash dash and ending tag dash dash greater than placed at the beginning and end of every line to be treated or instructed as a comment. For example, less than exclamation mark dash dash comment dash dash greater than. Structure of an HTML document. Every web page has three essential parts. Head, title and body. You can actually make a functional web page without head and title tag but you really should never do that. So for all purposes you should consider them as essential parts. HTML elements. All HTML documents are made up of HTML elements that have three components. A pair of tags enclosed in angle brackets like less than HTML greater than and less than slash HTML greater than. Notice the difference between the two tags. The first tag is called the start tag or the opening tag and the second tag is called the end tag or the closing tag. Some attributes within the start tag. Any textual and graphical content between the start and end tags. It can also include other nested elements. Features of HTML element. The HTML element is everything from the start to the end tag. Each tag is enclosed in angle brackets. The general form of an HTML element is the overall function of a web page. Some HTML elements are defined as empty elements. They enclose no content. The name of an HTML element is the name used in the tags. The end tag's name is preceded by a slash character. 
it attributes are not mentioned default values are used in each case to keep things simple we will not specify any attributes and assume default values make your own web page to make your own web page you need two things html editor web browser html editor an html editor is an application software for creating web pages although the html markup of a web page can be written with any text editor specialized html editors can offer convenience and added functionality to create complex html web pages the simplest editor that can be used is a notepad on windows more sophisticated ones are adobe dreamweaver microsoft visual studio and many more web browser a web browser is an application software that reads the html documents html pages and displays them as web pages the browser does not display the html tags but uses the tags to interpret the content of the page some of the popular web browsers are internet explorer mozilla firefox and google chrome following is the simplest html code written in html editor notice the use of tags type the code above in notepad and save the file as my first html page dot htm when you save an html file you can use either the dot htm or the dot html file extension there is no difference between the resulting web page and it is your own choice you can then view this file in the web browser on your computer by double clicking on the file in windows explorer it should look something like this notice that the tags don't show up on the actual page from the above html code we learn that every html page starts with less than html greater than tag at the top and ends with less than slash html greater than at the bottom it tells the browser that this is an html document the entire page is divided into a header with the less than head greater than comma less than slash head greater than tags and page body with the less than body greater than less than slash body greater than tags the head tag contains general information like the title of your document the body tag holds all your content text pictures audio files video files etc you must have the html head and body container tags in every html file you must be surprised where is the text within the title and slash title tags displayed this text becomes the title of the web page and is displayed on top in the title bar of the web browser html is not case sensitive that means you can use either lower case or upper case letter less than capital html greater than is the same as less than small html greater than for consistency you must use one format html heading tag in the body part of the html page we can define headings using less than h1 greater than to less than h6 greater than tags less than h1 greater than defines the most important heading less than h6 greater than defines the least important heading for example these heading levels will appear in the browser like this html heading should be used for displaying important text as heading and not to make text big or bold it is important to use headlines to show the document structure h1 headings should be used as important or main headings followed by h2 headings then the less important h3 headings and so on html paragraph tag paragraphs are defined with the less than p greater than tag this tag appears in the body part of the web page 
For example, this will show up in the browser as Notice how browsers automatically add an empty line before and after a paragraph. It is important to remember the end tag. Forgetting the end tag can produce unexpected results in some browsers. Empty HTML elements We have seen that each tag marks the beginning and the end of it. There are some tags which are written only once. They are not written in pair of start and end. These tags are called empty tags. Line break tag We have observed that each paragraph start on a new line. If you want a line break or a new line inside a paragraph before the paragraph end tag, then use less than br slash greater than tag. For example, this will display in the browser as the less than br slash greater than element is an empty HTML element. It has no end tag. Horizontal rule tag. The less than hr slash greater than tag creates a horizontal line in an HTML page that can be used to separate content. The less than hr slash greater than element is also an empty HTML element. It has no end tag. This will display in the browser as Nesting An HTML page has a nested structure. Notice how the tag less than title greater than is nested inside the head tag while head and body are nested inside the HTML tag. Each new set of tags can be nested inside other tags. Think of it another way like smaller boxes inside larger boxes.